Hey, this is Digital by Computing. Today we're gonna to go through the steps on how to remove your Windows 10 installation from macOS Catalina. We're assuming that you've already got Windows running side by side with your macOS Catalina through bootcamp, and we're just gonna go through the steps on how to remove that Windows 10 installation, how to recoup and recover the space uh, and add it back to your Macintosh hard drive. So here we are on our Mac. Now, obviously to remove uh, Windows, you need to boot into the Mac operating system. Uh, you can do that by starting up your Mac by holding down the option key and not selecting Windows, but selecting the Mac OS um, Catalina um, partition hard drive, and then you'll be booted into your Mac as normal. Obviously Windows is installed on this partition on this hard drive called Bootcamp, and we now want to remove it. By removing this partition, you are removing Windows and all of the software, all of the files that you may have saved within Windows. So before you continue, make sure that any files that um, you have saved are backed up. If you are okay to remove those files and delete those files, then you can continue through here and we can go through this process. Now, similarly to how you installed uh, Windows in the first place, we're now going to remove it through this area. To do this, we want to open up Bootcamp Assistant. So on the top right hand corner, you wanna click on the spotlight icon and type in Bootcamp or just boot and it'll show up Bootcamp Assistant. You can also navigate to this through your Finder and Applications area, it's listed in there also. Now from within here, um, this is really the same process that we followed when you're installing Windows, but now we're doing the reverse. So you go back into here, click on Continue, and you see that it has automatically detected that there is a Windows installation um, on this computer. All right, so you click on restore and it will remove the Windows partition and restore that space back. So we actually allocated a portion of hard drive space to this bootcamp partition to Windows itself. By clicking restore, you're going to delete the partition and then you restore all the operations. So the Windows volume and all its content will be permanently lost. So if you're happy to do that and remove all your data, we click on the restore button. It's gonna ask you for your password. So if everything has gone well, it should say that the partition has been removed. Uh, you'll see that the, that the bootcamp partition is now gone and your disk space in your Macintosh hard drive should now be larger. You've essentially recouped that space that you've lost. Um, you may need to give your Mac a restart. It sometimes can prompt you to give a restart of your Mac to sort of clear out any of those settings. Uh, but that's really the process. Now, if that hasn't worked for, for whatever reason, there could be a corruption on the hard drive. Your partition table could be corrupted. We're not gonna go through on this video how to fix that. You may need to have partition tools, uh, recovery tools to be able to fix that. But the process is really straightforward for most of the time. So there you go, that is the steps on how to remove a Windows installation or a Windows partition from your Mac through Bootcamp on uh, Mac OS Catalina. So that is it. I would love it if you subscribe to Digital Byte Computing and also like this video and we will see you next time.